it and today's video is going to be a what is on my iPhone. So I currently have the iPhone 7 in silver and this is my phone case. It's a simple marble print. I got this phone case off of Amazon so I will leave the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. So it is June 20th. It's 2.30. And as you can see, my wallpaper is marble, which matches my phone case. I don't know, just something about having them match makes me happy, so I keep it that way. Then I have messages, mail, calendar, photos, camera, maps, clock, which I have no alarms on. Bless, because I am on summer break. Then I have weather, wallet, which is where... I have my Lady Gaga concert tickets so they can scan them when I get to the door and I'm actually gonna go see her in August in San Francisco and I'm really excited I'm gonna do a whole get ready with me and like insert like clips from the concert it's gonna be great and then I have notes iTunes App Store settings Safari and then we get into my first folder which is just titled as a pile of books. So this is like my school folder, but since I am not in school, there's many apps that I should have had here, but the two that I have left is Gmail, which I just like better than the one that is offered on the Apple iPhone, because I just like the format better. And Campus Portal, which is where I check my grades. And then I would have had other apps like Google Docs, Google Slides, Desmos, Slater, and yeah. We go to my next folder, which is labeled as a little tile, and there I have voice memos, and then I have contacts, find friends, find iPhone, reminders, health, iMovie, calculator, and FaceTime. Then we go to this folder, which is labeled as little phone and here I have my editing apps or just camera apps that I can use so first I have boomerang which I use a lot on my Instagram story and then I have layout which is to stitch pictures together and hyperlapse is when you can turn a very long video into a couple of seconds and I have aviary pick zoo rebel sauce visco polar or polar I don't know how to pronounce that and Fonto. So I'm gonna do a whole video um, on these six apps down here and just show you how I use them. And I flip over and then you see Followers Plus, which is where you can track your activity on Instagram. You can see your lost followers, your new followers, people that are not following you, people who you are not following, and people who you follow and they follow you too. And then we go to this one, which is just labeled as a little fluffy cloud. And here I have Shazam. It's very helpful when you're trying to see what the name of the song is or who sings it. So you simply just touch down on this button and you let it listen. And it will just tell you what the song is and who sings it. But since I'm not putting the song on, I, it's not picking anything up. And then I have Pandora, which is amazing because I have found a lot of new artists and genres that I very much like listening to, so I thank Pandora for that. Music, I have a couple of songs on, but I don't use it that much. And then Spotify, I love Spotify. Though I find it really difficult to listen to music on road trips, which is very frustrating because, you know, road trips are so long and boring without music because like for some reason when I open the Spotify app when I'm like on a highway to LA it just gets really really hot and it just burns up and it just wastes my battery life so I don't tend to use um, Spotify when I'm on a road trip and I have Best Fiends I'm not sponsored so I'm not trying to like get you guys mad or anything but they should because I spend a ridiculous amount of time on this game Oop, I haven't collected my gift got three diamonds 
But yeah, I am like, oh, and I got a prize. Okay, cool. And I have Duolingo so I can touch up on my French skills because I've been learning French for the past two years. And the last chapter that we did before school ended was actually pretty difficult. And then Yelp, I love the Yelp app because this is where I keep track of all of the places that I would like to go. And yeah, just like keeping track of them. And then I'm just gonna give you an example. Let's say, I want to go to Alfred Coffee Melrose, you know. So it has tons of reviews, especially the place is really popular. Tells you what kind of place it is. So this is a coffee and tea bakery brunch type of place and gives you the directions, gives you phone numbers, the menu, the website, the hours. It's really helpful. They give you their health score whether they take reservations or not, whether they have TVs, if it's good for kids, if they, have, if they have Wi-Fi, they have just many things. And then you can see the pictures from like other Yelpers that have been to that place. And I have DMV Genie, which I'm gonna start using a lot because they see my friends just getting their permits and I'm older than them. So like, I need, I need, a, I need to catch up. So this is basically um, like driver's test that you can take. They give you five, which are easy, two that are hard, and then they have hardest. Oops, I pressed on it. And then there's exam mode, and it just, and then you click your state because like states have different like rules that they follow on the road. Yeah, then I have YouTube obviously. And then I have Lonely Crunchy Roll on the other page. Yeah, I watch anime, guys. And my last folder, which is named Social, here I have The Hunt, which you can take a picture of something or screenshot something that you saw on the internet, post it on here, and have people find it for you. And then I have Pinterest, which I have been obsessed after one of my favorite YouTubers mentioned it on her um, YouTube channel, I was like, whoa, she uses Pinterest, like, how do you do that? Like, I've had it, but I didn't do much with it, and now I have gained inspiration from her, and I now I have very cute boards that I'm really proud of. Then Depop, which I want to actually start selling things because I have things I have never worn in my life, still have tags on, and I just wanna sell them. And then I have Sephora. And Urban Outfitters, and I love Urban Outfitters. I just, I love the store. It's just so expensive. That's how it looks like. I just like Urban Outfitters. Okay, so that's all for like the home screen and stuff. And now we're gonna go down here. So then I have phone, Tumblr, which I don't use a lot, but I do sometimes, you know, when I bored and just want to get some inspiration and then i have twitter which i usually go for this one to see like the news and stuff and like what's going on on the explore page and then my favorite favorite absolute favorite of all time is my instagram app so my user is killing bubbles and i'm as i said these are all my pictures i'm really proud of them i'm sorry i'm like bragging and stuff but I am really happy with my pictures. I rarely post because it's so hard to keep a theme. So I don't know, when I try to post a picture, I'm like, no, this doesn't look good. And like, if I don't feel good, I'm not gonna post it until I'm like, yes, that looks amazing. So it takes me a long time. I'm sorry that I don't post occasionally. Like I post like monthly when I get a good picture. Like this is my last picture and it's from like May 14th. It's been a month since I posted anything but I'm like editing a few pictures and stuff so I will be posting one soon so yeah that is it for my what's on my iPhone I hope you guys enjoyed and leave a like and subscribe to my channel